Yeah. I finally leave my daddy at the bed now for four years, stay with my daddy. Learn some things. My daddy was a good dude, learn some things. My daddy tell me real gangster shit. Hey, look here, you don't never hope you hustle. You understand me? That's a gangster thing. You don't hope you hustle. You know what I'm saying? The same shit you can do for somebody else, you do for your goddamn self. You ain't gotta work for nobody. Never work for nobody. My daddy say, hey, always be clean and fresh. I'm always clean and fresh. It's like, I learned shit from my daddy. Now, as parents, you still gotta watch what you say to your children. Now, I'm back living with my mama, and my mama has this slogan that she's been saying since I was 10 years old. You gotta get your ass out of here at 18. <laughs> she been saying this as long as I can remember. Anytime something go bad, that's my mama go to. You know something? Don't even fucking worry about it, because you gotta get your ass out of here at 18. <laughs> you should actually stop saying that to your children. Because see, that's something wrong to say, but then when that, that wrong advice, that wrong mentality gets met with a wrong situation. So hence, this is the beginning of my street pharmaceutical life. <laughs> my mama moves into these apartments, which is some very nice apartments, but the people, she didn't survey the people that lived in the apartments. People are different from the apartments. The aesthetics of the apartments nice, the people ignorant as hell. So I'm in these apartments and I meet this dude named Jeffrey. Jeffrey a cool little cat, you know what I'm saying? But he always on punishment, so I don't know, we, can, we really can't play that much because he, he got us go in the house. Um, now, as I'm outside kicking it with Jeffrey, in the 80s, it was a lot of weird dudes in the 80s. A lot of weird looking dudes in the 80s that had a lot of Badass advice. Now, I'm kicking it with my partner Jeffrey, and it's this dude named Willie. I have never met a good Willie ever. <laughs> I don't know no good Willies. And me and Jeffrey sitting there, Willie pull up in a cutlass. It's his mama cutlass, but he acting like it's his. He pull up in the cutlass. And he get out the car, and Willie look crazy. He ate his cat, because in the 80s, everybody had good dental insurance, so that boy got an extra row of teeth at the bottom. <laughs> like piranha style, that boy got an extra row of teeth. And he got one of them, them remember them, them people who had them curls that didn't take all the way? It's just a wet, <laughs> just, it's just really just wet, curly hair. Just wet hair. With activator on it, basically. And he would wear, one of them, them, them car dealing caps. You know, they'd be white, they'd be green with the white trimming. When you deal car, he had this boy over it, and it'd be wet. But Willie had on something that piqued my interest. Willie had on a fresh ass tracksuit. That tracksuit was fresh as shit. You know, 80s was, was tracksuits. Well, that boy had this fresh ass tracksuit, and I was like, boy, them teeth fucked up, that tracksuit fresh. <laughs> Motherfucker, boy. Willie get, Willie get out of the car. I see him get out the car. Willie walk over to Jeff. He say, what's up, Jeffrey, little young cat? What's up, baby? Who this is you got with you? Jeff say, that's my, that's my partner, Ali. He just moved over here. He used to stay with his daddy. He just moved over here. Well, say, Willie look right at me. Who is you, nigga? <laughs> he just told you. I don't... I'm Ali, and um, I just moved over here. I was living with my daddy. The boy said, you live with your daddy? Oh, that wild hair. This boy got a daddy. Ain't that some crazy shit? <laughs> hey, everybody got a daddy, don't they? <laughs> boy, that shit. Hey, man, what you do, though? Man, I, I, I just moved over here. He said, man, I don't know if you know or not, youngster, but everybody over here hustle. I say, for what? <laughs> My mama got a job. I don't, I don't need to hustle. He said, nah, nigga, you gon' want shit. You know what I'm saying? I see. Yeah, you gon' definitely want that. I see what them goddamn grocery store shoes on. <laughs> you know? And I ain't really never been talked about before. This boy Willie is. Boy, boy out here with some aisle sixes on around here, man. Ah, damn, man. Boy, and Willie talking crazy. Hey, say, say. Hey, man, give me some scissors, man. Somebody cut this nigga strain. Cut his strain. <laughs> And 
and Willie's going in on me. And I and I, I didn't tell y'all, my daddy wouldn't just buy me shoes from the grocery store. He would he would buy me them the workman pants. <laughs> that they sell in the grocery store, the workman pants. And then boy Willie, then boy Willie noticed that I had the workman pants on the bus, say, say, my, say, 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 look at that. Uh, I just want to know, man, you got a job. I said, no, I ain't got no job. Why you got them goddamn workman pants on there, boy? I don't like none of this shit. <laughs> I can't even say nothing. Willie got on a fresh ass track too. I'm like, damn. <laughs>